today. If you're not wearing a face mask when you're traveling into, within, or out of the United States, don't be expected to be allowed to travel because the CDC order went into effect just before midnight. Alexander Leslie joins us now. And Alex, the TSA is implementing this as part of the president's new executive order. Right, and this is something a lot of travel hubs were doing before today. Airlines already require masks, and they've actually already banned 2,000 passengers for refusing to wear one. Now, the order now applies not only if you're traveling by air, but also if you're traveling by rail, ship, ferry, train, subway, bus, taxi, and rideshare. The TSA says you'll need to wear this at screening checkpoints and throughout commercial and public transportation systems. The CDC says that traveling on public transportation increases a person's risk of getting and spreading COVID-19 due to being in close contact with others, often for long periods of time. Adding that face masks reduce the chance that travelers will breathe in respiratory droplets, potentially carrying the virus. This is not about strong arming people or, you know, trying to force people to do something. This is really more about everybody working together to help secure the transportation system. So this new guidance says that your face mask needs to cover completely your nose and mouth, and it also needs to have two or more layers of fabric. Any of those masks with slits or valves or exhalation punctures, they are not allowed. This new order is in effect until May 11th. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.